<laughs> Welcome, witches, wizards, and ferrets. I am Julie, this is Reaches, this is Noctis, and everybody's going to leave me now. Today we are here to talk about how many times ferrets are mentioned in Harry Potter. Because I searched in the Kindle app for the word ferret, I am going to be including the word ferreting, because that happens more often than you think in the Harry Potter books. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Ferrets technically weren't mentioned, but stoat sandwiches were. Hagrid eats them and like offers them, and stoats are tiny little weasels. Don't eat them. Go to a Panera Hagrid. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Once in chapter three, all I got was a few shrinking door keys, yawned Mr. Weasley. There was some pretty nasty stuff that wasn't my department though. Morelake was taken away for questioning about some extremely old ferrets. Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban, three times. Chapter 14. The first thing they saw on entering Hagrid's cabin was Buckbeak, who was stretched out on top of Hagrid's patchwork quilt, his enormous wings folded tight to his body, enjoying a large plate of dead ferrets. Also chapter 14. Uh, people can be a bit stupid about their pets, said Hagrid wisely. Behind him, Buckbeak spat a few ferret bones onto Hagrid's pillow. You're not allowed near any hippogriffs. No one's allowed near hippogriffs, babies. Run! You are never allowed near a hippogriff, okay? They'll eat you. You eat them first. Chapter 21. They waited, watching the moving clouds reflected in the lake, while the bush next to them whispered in the breeze. Buckbeak, bored, was ferreting for worms again. Ferreting, the act of being a ferret. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now this is the one everyone knows. This is the reason a lot of white ferrets are named Draco. This one. Mentioned 17 times. Chapter 10. Rita Skeet has been ferreting around all week, looking for more ministry mess-ups to report. Ferreting around. Chapter 13. Harry spun around. Professor Moody was limping down the marble staircase. His wand was out and pointing at a pure white ferret, which was shivering on the stone flagged floor, exactly where Malfoy had been standing. Also chapter 13. Not you. Him, growled Moody, jerking his thumb over his shoulder at Crabbe, who had just frozen, about to pick up the white ferret. Chapter 13. Still, Moody started limping towards Crabbe, Goyle, and the ferret, which gave a terrified squeak and took off towards the dungeons. Chapter 13. I don't think so, roared Moody, pointing his wand at the ferret again. It flew ten feet into the air, fell with a smack to the floor, and then bounced upwards again. Guess what, chapter? I don't like people who attack their opponent's backs turned, growled Moody as the ferret bounced higher and higher, squealing in pain. The ferret flew through the air, its legs and tail flailing helplessly. Never do that again, said Moody, speaking each word as the ferret hit the flagstone floor and bounced upwards again. Now, I know in the movie it's funny, but seeing them bounce on a ground would break my little heart. Their little legs and tail flailing? They as it is, Regis falls off the bed half the time, and that makes me sad. I can't imagine him bouncing. They're talking to themselves now. Chapter 13. Hello, Professor McGonagall, said Moody, calmly bouncing the ferret still higher. Don't bounce me. Chapter 13. What are you doing, said Professor McGonagall, her eyes following the bouncing ferret's progress through the air. Thirteen chapters. Thirteen chapters. I think thirteen times this was mentioned in chapter 13. Don't quote me on that. I didn't count. Because I want to fix that in my memory forever, said Ron. His eyes closed, an uplifted expression on his face. Draco Malfoy, the amazing, bouncing ferret. That's mean. I know it's Malfoy, but it's still a ferret. Like, chapter 15. We're not in chapter 13 now. <laughs> Bobaton and Durmstrag. Harry followed him, wondering what was going to happen to him now. What if Moody wanted to know how he'd found out about the dragon? Would Moody go to Dumbledore and tell him Hagrid? Or would he just turn Harry into a ferret? Well, it might be easier to get past the dragons if you were a ferret. True, turn into a ferret. If you turn into a ferret, you'd be really good at stashing and stealing things. I don't know where half my stuff is because of them. Just think how a dragon would feel. Chapter 23, the Yule Ball. Twitchy little ferret, aren't you, Malfoy? They're not twitchy. They're itchy. Itchy little ferret. That would have been much more accurate. Itchy little ferret. Chapter 24, Rita's scoop. He didn't even tell us, did he? I reckon she was so mad he wouldn't give her loads of horrible stuff about me. She went ferreting around to get him back. Ferreting. Still counts. Chapter 24. Padfoot returns. Sirius lapsed into silence, still staring at the cave wall. Buckbeak was ferreting around on the rock floor, 
looking for bones he might have overlooked. Also in the Goblet of Fire, Stoat's Head Hill was mentioned. Again, Stoat's tiny little weasel. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Once. Chapter 31. OWLs. At least he had managed to vanish his whole iguana, whereas poor Hannah Abbott lost her head completely at the next table and somehow managed to multiply her ferret into a flock of flamingos, causing the examination to be halted for 10 minutes while the birds were captured and carried out of the hall. I think it should have been the other way around. I think she should have taken one flamingo and turned it into a business of ferrets. I'd be down for that. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? It wasn't mentioned. No ferrets. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Three times. All of them in chapter 12. Seconds later, there was a pop and a ferrety looking wizard appeared before them. What is ferrety looking wizard? Within two minutes, Ron stood before them, as small and ferrety as the sick wizard. He looked around to see a wispy little witch and the ferrety wizard. I am a ferrety wizard. Ferrety wizard. Ferrety looking wizard. So that's it for the books. In the film, at the end of the Deathly Hallows, Harry Potter's son had a ferret. The cursed child, that ferret was not mentioned. I don't know what happened to it. There is something interesting that I found while doing research for this. Research involved Googling the word Harry Potter ferret. Apparently, there was a Daily Prophet newsletter, which was kind of like one of those club thingies you can sign up for. In there, people would get a Daily Prophet sent to them, and it would have cool stuff on it, little news articles. One of the news articles, which is really fun, I found on Reddit slash r slash Harry Potter plus a typed out version. Daily Prophet newsletter. How much revenge is safe? Dear Problem Page, I have been having a feud with my brother for many years now, which last week culminated in him sending me a broomstick, which has been cursed to whack me around the shins every time I attempt to remove it from the house. Would the Ministry of Magic turn a blind eye if I kidnap my brother's children and turn them into blood-sucking ferrets? Yours sincerely, Buckley Cooper. He got a response. Dear Buckley, no. The Ministry of Magic would not turn a blind eye if you turned your nieces and nephews into blood-sucking ferrets. Also, try turning them into salmon oil-sucking ferrets. You can turn them into that by just making them a regular ferret. On harrypotter.fandom.com slash wiki jarvay, there is a creature which is pretty much like a ferret that talks. The jarvay is capable of human speech, although true conversation with the jarvay is impossible. The creature uses short, usually rude statements and phrases in an almost constant stream. Jarvays live below ground, and their diet consists of moles, voles, rats, and gnomes. Jarvay are particularly good at hunting gnomes, and are sometimes employed to de-gnome the garden, although their methods are usually brutal. So what I'm getting into this is this is what a Jarvay would talk like. He would sit here, and he would say, I don't want to talk to you. I am so cool, I am busy, and I have to go and find some shoes that I gotta take the insoles out of. I'm just too busy to talk to you, human. There is no way that I can be bothered with you right now. Excuse me, that's right, I gotta go. I am not just a Jarvay, I am a werewolf. Is this stuff normal people do with their ferrets? In Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them, the book, not the movie, there was a mention of Brother Benedict, a monk, who wrote about his account of a talking giant ferret. His account was attributed too much turnip wine. It is very likely that people assume that he talked to a Jarvay. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm saying Jarvay. I don't know. New Scamander was involved in an incident in 1913 at Hogwarts involving illegal possession of a magical beast causing human life to be endangered and violating the animal welfare laws of 101-304. The magical beast? The Jarvay. What did it do? Did it stash people's stuff and was rude to them? Because that's what I'm getting out of it. One last thing, MuggleNet had a list of the Patronuses from Pottermore. Weasel, Stoat, Polecat, Otter, Mink, and Pine Martin. Honorable mention, Nifflers. Nifflers are basically ferrets, except they look like platypus. I have also seen a lot of ferrets named Niffler. They do steal stuff. I'm really curious how the Jarvay endangered human life. Did it like tell people off? It's always bothered me when I've asked people, do you realize how many times ferrets were mentioned in Harry Potter? And they're like, oh, it was just that one book. No, apparently J.K. Rowling must secretly like ferrets. What do you think Harry Potter's son would have named the ferret? I'd like to know a bit more about why a ferret was chosen as Harry Potter's son's pet. Can we just have a movie about Harry Potter's son's ferret? Because I'd be down to watch that, like a ferret on a magical adventure at Hogwarts. I'd be so down with that. Thank you for joining us. Those who kept count, that was about 25 times that ferret was mentioned or ferreting. He never stays with me. We hope you enjoyed. Do 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 do. Mom, mom, put us down, mom.